Hello traders, long time no see, but I'm back. I was very busy for the past two weeks. I was moving to new apartment. I was doing uh, my new trading room. I did major updates for our trading uh, folders because a lot of you use my folders. They have direct access to all of it. And you know, I have a lot of trades uh, prepared in that folder. So it's very key. Now it's very easy to see for you what I'm up to and also how is the market looking on a day trader and scalper perspective, all the important levels, medium time frame, so day trade and up. And then we have the higher time frame section, all the folders ready. I will go over all the folders today so you can see that. And last reason was I was preparing order blocks for the group, was studying it. So you, you get all the good information because order blocks are truly major confluence. We can give them time at the end of the video a bit as well. So now, and also a few words about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is super congested at the moment. Uh, I mean, very, very small place, choppy. Also, uh, the volume is declining as we as we are progressing. This is, uh, in my eyes, a big accumulation phase. Like you have no real organic demand, very, very little. But you also have like order books are really full of spot orders. So someone is absorbing all this uh, all this slowly. So it's just accumulation uh, phase and it can it can actually last for a few weeks, months. It's gonna be up to Bitcoin uh, when it breaks and we will have signals when, when it happens. You can see that always, but we will go over it. Also tomorrow, be aware, is massive volatility day, is FOMC. I think the whole, I would say for the past one, two weeks even, uh, I think the market is waiting for that FOMC and how, how are the markets in the world digest that news because stock market, stock market is super important for bitcoin direction at the moment because bitcoin has not no crazy news and no no new narrative no new bull market at the moment so it's heavily correlated to traditional markets so tomorrow be prepared uh, i will show you all the long-term areas because it can be a huge 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 move actually tomorrow it can be non-event of course if there will be no surprises but if there will be surprises or market will digest things differently then we can have crazy moves so you you better be prepared yeah and you always need to have in mind uh, 10,000, uh, like in your mind, it should be covered 10,000 uh, price, like for the both direction. So then at the levels, it's like sometimes you have very little time to react. And uh, you need to be prepared. And why stock market? I just want to mention the uh, stock market is super useful. Like yesterday, we did major swing failure pattern here. And you can see on Bitcoin, we hit golden zone. I look, look at the bounce, it was fucking crazy uh 2.5 percent so huge bounce here again we had another bounce from uh, bitcoin and with the stock market so i trade both you know i have bitcoin charted then i have a stock market next to it so while the correlation is so high it's not gonna be forever but while correlation is over 95 percent you must pay attention to stock market and bitcoin together even the opens on stock market are major volatility events for the bitcoin like bitcoin is usually not even moving during asia and london recently and it started moving uh, when we opened stock market so absolutely key to understand this so let's have a look on bitcoin from all time frames we'll show you all trade areas all tools how we used and uh, i can uh, i was busy but i was taking maybe two three trades a day uh, brown was taking care of you more recently and i just want to show we had this beautiful trade for example here with the order block um, 0 0.86 uh, the open this was our intended area we had bounce here beautiful so we are we are taking nice trades it's just not so many uh, okay so let's have a look we can start maybe with uh, daily time frame we have a lot of semi and naked dailies which are naked like uh, naked opens on market you can read about them and they are giving clean trades you can see on a daily time frame we have still uptrend here until these lows then this low is secured uh, it's still uptrend and also <clears throat> you can see this market structure daily for example this market structure daily was always important in my eyes that's why it has uh, important like a uh, sign you see we we like went over it you know it's important because when you go over it it's gonna be bullish bullish bias more you see we went up we retested it beautiful then move up and then we lost it and we accelerated moved to the downside why because you can see that it's it's a uh, market structure it's like a uh, lot of lot of market structure activity was happening here so losing it and claiming it is very important it's gonna be important for the bulls in the future you can't believe me about this so to the downside we also hold the market structure daily this one it was first uh, it gave us a big trade it was naked and now its market structure is no longer naked but it, uh, this was our big trade here like uh, we grew we took it all most of the members into group <clears throat> 
So that's market structure. That's a daily time frame. On weekly time frame, we are actually doing a lot of consecutive uh, closes, like red closes for the Bitcoin. You can see how we are actually uh, like squeezing inside. Let me show the levels. Uh, right now we are trying to hold this market structure weekly. It's very important one, like closing below this one without swing value pattern is cause it will cause again for the downside. It's gonna be pretty simple. And when we close above this market structure weekly here, it's gonna give us more bullish bias to go at least for this seminated weekly. So right now we are in, we are ranging between between those two market structures. You can see that very clearly on the chart. There is no no crazy naked weekly in a close proximity. First one 50,676. This one is na semi naked, so there was only one touch, but it has potential to give us one more bounce. <clears throat> this naked weekly also very strong. Uh, 31,773. Yeah, so you better mark this one. It's super strong. And monthly, we had new monthly close, so new monthly levels appeared. And you can see we have new monthly. I mean, open. It's na naked monthly here, so 45,509. It's gonna be probably very easy scalp from that area. You can see also here we have template for the monthly. We can watch very clearly what is happening. Even from monthly time frames, you can see uh, what was the main uh, bull market moves. Yeah, look at the volume: 93 billion, 202 billion, 207 billion. What is the volume now? The past month was 40 billion volume, so it's like five times less than was average in bull market. So volumes are clearly declined. That's why it's accumulation phase. That's why uh, I see a lot of spot orders, but no real organic demand. Like there are spot orders buying uh, below us as we are like bleeding, but there is no real organic demand pushing us up. So Bitcoin still uh, such a connected to stock market with this and. Uh, until this change, until we get change of narrative, we can just continue range and bleeding or bleeding or bigger range. The volumes are really, really low at the moment. You can see even uh, like uh, we trade uh, without market theory on multiple time frames. You can see when you lose this massive big range, this is the range from uh, start of the 20 to 2021. Where is gonna be our next next real support is uh, starting at 24k, yeah? 24 to 22 700. So there is no volume here. You either build volume here or you just dive straight into this point. So I will just show you this 24k area, which I'm planning to buy if we like ever dive under uh, for 30k. It's just very 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 tasty level. So monthly time frame, yeah, and also monthly time frame is very, uh, not very, it's beige, yeah, it's pretty beige close, so like if you want to negate at least some of this uh, very bad close here, you need to you need to claim this market structure monthly and close over it, especially like even smaller candle on monthly, then start to do retest and bounce. This one is pretty important, you see, you see it's already important, like we are already rejecting this one. So if we continue lower, we will take out this low and continue lower. You have another market structure monthly at 35,027. So be aware of this. This one is also strong. It was touched many times, but still powerful. Okay, let's go now to smaller time frames and then we will go over all the folders. After all the folders, I will show you the trade areas I plan to take. And after that, we will be. I will just show you just a few tools we use, how they were useful for the past uh, one week. This is current levels I watch. It's uh, quite a lot. I know uh, I like to have uh, one folder where I turn uh, when I have like when I watch what is all what is important in a very small, uh, small range. You can even see like we were buying. Uh, I was buying this low here and this low here. <clears throat> this was more with the group. We were buying this one it was easy, but uh, it was this trade, I think. But you can see you must ju you just must take profit of this five month high <clears throat> range high volume note. You see how we are how we are, you know, just curving here. Also the POC. You cannot be greedy at this environment. You must take profit because market can take it uh, easily away. It's just range one with more with bleeding, uh, yeah, with more bleeding to the downside. 
So this five month range, that's why it's on my chart. It's so important. Take profit area from these longs, definitely. When we claim this five month range high volume note, you can attract above this high more higher time frame traders to your, to your position. So you can be actually adding when you claim like 40K as well, yeah. It's also important for the Bitcoin. You can see that very clearly we are on 50 minute time frame. We are doing higher highs and high lows, yes. Look at this market structure, yeah. Right now, small range, but for like for smaller, like for bigger time frames, you are still bearish, especially hourly. Yeah, like hourly is a super important time frame. Look at this. So you just need to be aware until you change market structure. You are very careful. You are taking counter trades. Yes. Again, lower low. What do you need to do to negate this local? I mean, this medium time frame. You just need to start to do higher higher. And then you will be looking for much safer buying the dip. Yes. When you turn resistance into support, which can be our big high volume order. But you must take these highs. Yes. Then you can add on pullback. Yes. To your core positions. You should really have some positions from this lower. Bitcoin bladed out really a lot. Yeah. So you had chances to enter. But we do not see that yet. And we are super congested. Waiting for FMC for tomorrow. Let's continue further. So this is just a major folder where I have everything but more clarities coming from here. 30 minute time frame. You know I'm very good at marking market structures, so that's why if you have my chart you are you have big advantage over market. You can see every single market structure, almost every single market structure I provided is giving you trades. Right now we are fighting for this bottom one, but we are we are doing like rejections. You see, there was just kiss here rejection. Also, when you see uh, when you see the red red boundary around my market structure, it's a stronger one than usual. This one is like normal one. It had some touches, but it's it's not. It did not mature like like good China. I mean, not Chinese wine, like good French wine. So this is really matured market structure. So many bounces, you know, and a very strong one. This one also very strong and you see the reaction from this one just huge move down and we are more up let's go further what is giving you patience in your trades is also these uh, auction market fear we use in our trading every day and you see those are two most important ranges at the local time frame these are like two three week ranges you can see we are trying to hold about both the vivals here we are trying to make it support until we hold them you can be uh, more patient with your trades because it's it's it can signal you there will be more there will be new rotation of the range yes it's gonna be like reinforced because right now look at the high volume note high volume note is here so if we claim this yeah like we do something like this you can go for full rotation of the range into this point but right now market is fighting for it, you know, and if we, if we actually lose, because the bounces are not strong here, like there was, this one was great. After reclaim, we get one other bounce, but right now it's continue bleeding, you know, so. Stock market, what is stock market doing? Yeah, it's still muted there. It's like because we lost a big support there. So this is really, auction market theory can warn you and uh, it will save you a lot of money because if you lose this area again, you will be will be expecting another move to the lows yes to take out liquidity or just find or the blog or something golden zone support so yeah market is choppy on important region yeah at the moment it's gonna be decision point from this from this area in terms of high volume notes we don't have as much naked liquidity in our current um, current environment there is one below us, pretty like uh, not not huge one, but it's it's a good one. It can give beautiful trade after swing follow pattern here, and then we have naked uh, naked liquidity over here and further up. This is just local. And you can also see we have at the bottom unfinished uh, order block. Above us we have also order blocks here, one on one, another one. So actually for me. I'm already in longs from these positions. I still hold uh, bigger shorts from the top, which we had, and uh, from 47, which is my like head short as well, because there was zero reason to close my short here. 
but from longs I gathered here, I'm now holding. I'm now holding, this is no position for me to add. I will be adding later when I see sign of strength. Or, you know, when I see we change big market structure, we do pullback, then I can add as well. So for me, you know, you can scalp here, of course, but as a day trade, I'm just watching at the moment. I have no no interest to participate in this. At least we can do some uh, liquidity grab or something, but such a chop, you know, you can just get chopped. It's just very small volatility today. That's very local time frame. Yeah, and we really need to claim this high, high volume out of uh, five months. I will show you that from higher time frame why it's why it's so important. Let's move to okay na naked box. There, those are very simple. For that, you have exo charts also. You know, so you see very cleanly where you want, where you want to take the trade. You know, we have one below us and multiple above us. Yeah, here and here. This one is pretty decent, so because you can do swing file a pattern into it and bounce, so you have limited risk for your trade, and you can play stop loss and enjoy move to the upside. Okay, great. Let's continue. Even levels, when you see the main levels which you are uh, like uploading to the chart every week, you see how we are congested for the past month. Look here, where is the previous month poke? Premium Mont Val, really congested area, and Vic also super congested, just uh, like $1,500 range here. Previous Mont Vag is here, so if you get very nice move from this area and you are positioned for it, that's gonna be great, great take profit area for you, and also you can look for, for shorts here, especially like you have these two good highs here. You can do nice liquidity uh, grab and reject and continue down from this, so very good point here. We have new monthly open here. If you lose that, you know, it can also accelerate, uh, you know, decline because it will attract uh, higher time from traders. They will be looking at this and they will see like, we do not claim this market structure monthly, which I showed you at the beginning of the video. Medium time frame market structures, they are very strong indeed. Again, most of them, when I, play, when I have them on the chart, they give you trade on the first touch. So I usually take trades with them because I have some high volume nodes there and so on. You just need to you need to trust uh, what you do. Some people do this badly. I do it uh, really good. I'm proud of this because when I have market structure, it's usually giving trade. Nothing is 100%, but this this is over one. This is over 85%. They give nice trade over 80%. You see how much chop we have here. Those market structures are highlighted. They are very very important. So even chop is happening here. Look at before, so much job in these market structures. Even from before, this is they are they are like part of. Uh, they are very matured, yeah, good, matured market structures. So there is no surprise we are still chopping here and finding decision point from this moment. And so many are below us. They are still waiting. This one here. And many many above us. Even our 48, 48k top, look at this, this was huge market structure, the strong one, <laughs> and down, yeah. Just kiss, this was your last chance into order block, and goodbye. You can underestimate the market structures, very strong. If you are trading, you should always have VA ranges folder, value area range folder, and where you see all important ranges on your chart. Because while Bitcoin is not trending, uh, like Bitcoin, while Bitcoin is not doing all-time highs, it's gonna be always going from one range into another. So you need to understand which range you are trading in, and from which range you are visiting. Yes. <clears throat> Let me hide those so I can show you examples. So you see, we had beautiful pump here. Look, look at these, uh, look at these small ranges we are creating on the way to the. Auction market theory truly will help you immensely. So two ranges on the top. Look at here, we had the big dump here, but we just went to the val of that previous range here. And also from bigger from this range, it was Vach. So we had double double auction market theory levels holding us. And on the way down, you were respecting all most of the previous ranges. You were actually respecting. Look here, move down here into the Pogo area into the Pog of this previous range bounce now as you are doing downtrend those previous ranges here and this one yeah they are making you resistance 
So now th this val here now becomes your resistance and this whole market structure it was also a major pog of this range. Yeah, so you will you will be really trading without auction market fear is like trading blind. You really need it, need this. You can learn it in our group. And even even after final move down here from our 40 uh, 48k drop, look here. I have highlighted this because this was strong strong range before. Look where we stopped here. 39,400. Then we started to bounce. Then we. This was. You have all these scenarios you can learn in a, in the group. Look here. Just go over expert course. Where are we? A bit further down. Yes. And you can learn all these scenarios. So you will never struggle where is Bitcoin heading. So after back bounce, which was pretty bullish, we had another bullish bounce here from the point of control of this massive range. Just understand which range uh, is stronger because those local ranges, they cannot be stronger than these massive ranges with like five times more volume. Yeah. So I only, you need to pay attention to those big ranges. They still have influence on Bitcoin. Big bounce from the POC, big bounce, uh, you know, to the, uh, previous range you did uh, this fuck here and right now you can see where we where we find the bottom literally bottom from this big range here 37400 region this was another reason why i was taking uh, longs in that area <clears throat> and if we lose this area you will be looking and trading uh, again from this range here and you can see we are already uh, like you can have multiple scenarios at the same time so Again, this is VAC area. We have still point of control from that area, and now we have the VAL area from that range here as well. They will have influence on Bitcoin, we will see. Because here you can do multiple swing failure patterns and bounce from this point. So make sure to master this. We have a lot of, we have a few good videos on this. Uh, it should uh, make your trading easier. High volume, oops, high volume nodes on. Uh, High volume nodes are prepared, especially to the upside. We have many, so they will give you each one has potential to give you day trade and scalp, especially if you have a major confluence in the area. The highlighted ones that was the changes I would do, I was doing. The highlighted ones in golden uh, golden boundaries they are stronger. They are like main uh, po point of controls of the ranges. So you will know because they are not equal. Yeah? Some are, sometimes it's just local one, and sometimes they are a stronger one like this one. Yeah, this one is strong. So you see as we are heading down, we still, from the old high volume nodes, we were getting bounces as well. If you have market structure together with the, uh, look here. If you have market structure together with the high volume node, for me it's strong basis for the trade. So those trades I'm taking when I have to the region, I have even more confluence. When they overlap especially, you see, overlap, overlap. Even right now, we, we hit like super, like small high volume note here. And after that, we have a small, small void until 36,900. 36, so just be aware of this. <clears throat> we'll discuss this uh, trade idea in a, a bit later in the video. TPO range, I do not plot heavily here because TPO ranges you can watch in exo charts, but I always, sometimes they are a bit different level, so you can, uh, you can merge session in this, especially in this session. I, I want a main session, main, uh, main range to have on a trading uh, view as well in terms of liquidity so this is our current liquidity profile here you can see we have really nice liquidity to the downside but also to the upside especially in this region people are shorting like crazy so you know liquidity strategy we do if you run major liquidity nodes it's usually reversal at least for scalp and day trade that's why i always mark them but everything is waiting Swing failure patterns, and we are so close. You see, we are so close to major liquidity nodes here. If you combine swing failure patterns and liquidity, you see, so many people have stop losses there. So prices like like drag to like magnet to this to take it out, and then we either do breakdown or we start to bounce. And uh, it was just like liquidity in graph. Pips. Major flips are prepared. This is not so interesting for us oh 
Also we have plotted order blocks. Very good order block is starting at, uh, at this region, 36200 uh, to 35733. We have also a big naked pock there, very tasty one, so I like this order block really uh, really a lot and we can actually get nice bounce here. And another big order, order block area is this one, yeah? from 33 to 20 uh, to 30k, let's say, yes. It's gonna be interesting. And on the way to the upside, we have so many other blocks as well. You need to plot them. You have uh, in our group, you have an uh, indicator to do that as well for you. So, let's discuss order flow. There we go. How we can utilize it. We can show you maybe in a bit of history. Order flow are high. Yes. So order flow plotting, I did it uh, multiple times on uh, on live stream. I did a few videos how to do it. This is the most pure form how to get support and resistance because you see directly how many traders are trapped there. And if you trade market enough, you know how how and what numbers are uh, good enough. You can see uh, I, that's why I do this archive. I can show you this is this is like very, how much like huge win rate if it's part of your trades. All you need with trading is patience. With our current tools, you can be winning every day. Really, literally, yeah. 35 million people here, long. Look at this. We run all of them down. And also before, we had 50 million shorts here and 18 million single short here. Beautiful bounce from this area into our uh, trap longs. Also here, we had naked 20 million shorts. So these people were shorting here before the major move up. It was like order block as well. So, but yeah, you can combine everything. This was high probability bounce area because 20 million is a lot and they were naked, so huge bounce here. And again, naked 22 million. So these people were longing at the top and they never got the chance to escape from the market because market violently moved down. Again, this is how you get, if you see naked uh, on my charts, it's high probability trade for you. Just beautiful. So this is the archive trades we had with order flow. And now I can show you current ones. Twenty million. They are not naked, but you can see uh, some of them already escaped at this low here, actually. But I am still keeping it because it can give one more trade here. Here we have a lot of lot of these people are not naked. They got uh, some of them took profit for sure, but it was such a huge number. It's still gonna be resistance. Sixty million on top, semi naked I would say. Look at how many areas we have on the way to the upside. They will be easy scalping zones for us. Fifty million, not naked, easy trade here and naked at the top. Beautiful. Most of them actually align with the order blocks, yes, or with our other major confluence. Easy, easy areas already for move to the upside. We can have a look on extensions uh, a bit if you want. Extensions are part of my trading. Especially if shorts are seeking the targets. Just need to check which one we can have a look. This one, this one, oh, this is for the upside. So yeah, this is for the upside prepare, which is not actual at the moment. This is for the downside. Uh, this is the current. It's uh, reacting pretty well. Like, how, how is your confirmation market is watching uh, these extensions? Well, reaction from the levels, yes. So look at here. This was our current range where we started extensions. There was two to one uh, bounce, big ones to the old one to one. <coughs> And now we are seeking for the final target, especially from these people. So two, two, six, one or three, yeah, both are valid targets. Even now, uh, because you know we were, we are continuing in a downtrend, so you need to know where the shorts have. Uh, even the, when the shorts take profit, is already moving market a bit, so you can easily easily scalp it and build positions with them and. Uh, that's what, what are usually the strong reversal zones when a short's taking profit also with you and you also need big support on a high time frame as a buyer. So from this range here, 3 to 1 bounce, beautiful. Two more targets below. And if we, if we consider this massive big range here, yes, low to high, those are first targets for those people. 
28,720, those are really under 30k, yeah? 161 at 24k. And one for four. If you really break, break this low and continue down, you will see some magic there. And those are for the upside. They are not interested for us at the moment. Maybe I wanted to show you also the pivot. Yes, just an interesting note about pivot. Uh, we have yearly pivot hit here at 47,000. Rejection, boom. And we still have naked, we still have naked pivot from previous year. It's now at 22,000, so just be aware. Yeah. And now we can have a look on higher time frame st structure and time frame. Because those moves we are seeing here are also happening on bigger time frames and they have a big influence on us. So this is our range since the beginning of the year. We are still in that range. Yes. And those high volume nodes in that range are very influential on Bitcoin. Even now you can see that range here. It was actually expected we will be ranging inside on. Now we lost it. Yeah. So for the if you if you reclaim this high volume note, your next target is gonna be this. You can be patient and you will be taking profit here in this five month range. If you claim this high volume note, I'm just speaking as a swing trade right now. You will do something like this. You will be aiming for Viva of five months here. Yes. Very simple. That's how you swing trade. If you have such a beautiful range. And let's not forget, if we go to higher time frame, Bitcoin is in massive. Oops. Bitcoin is in massive. Uh, 1st of January 2021, we started big range on Bitcoin on uh, until this moment. You can even see the 48k was not just a yearly pivot, but multiple resistance area and big high volume node of that range. Another one was above, just above, which we wanted to short as well. So. That's why that's what you can see like when you when you start to break above here you will have no real resistance until uh, yeah if you take out this high until 55k it's starting to be 54 55 this uh, oops first real resistance what we will be watching if we continue and we will develop like a bear market or something we will be watching vival of that range which is now at 30,894 I, I, I really think we either, uh, if we do not go for this liquidity, we will bounce from this region and just don't uh, profit taking first. Yes. Be aware, massive big level. If you see big volatility, 10, 20% drops, just be aware of this level. And for the, you know, for big uh, time frames, you need to use big market structures. And they, again, most of them I plotted work very well. Let's have a look. Even on the way to the downside, we bounce from this one, this one, and we prepare, I prepared already a few of them to do at least to the 20k. They are not so strong as these two above us, so because they are really fresh and they were happening in uptrend, so they just need to be aware. They cannot be pulled like locally, so of course they are long term. Okay, so we have ready this. Another interesting interesting point for you. We are below most anchor VWAPs. On Bitcoin. So what does it telling you? So it's is it bullish? Of course it's not bullish yet. We will start need to we will need to claim some of them. Even on our move to 48k, we were still struggling with the main uh, anchor VWAPs. If you do not use your anchor VWAPs in your trading, you must use them. They must be part of your day trades and even swing trades. <clears throat> in this point was big battle. It was eternal battle between bulls and uh, bears. This was uh, let's say bear market VWAP, yeah, anchor VWAP. So from the top big battle and also from another top so uh, big overlap here you can wa you cannot watch it this on like 50 minute time frame you must watch it from higher time frames right now bitcoin is almost under every single anchor view up yes it's just crazy this is also pointing out we most likely we will range here or just bleed yeah until we start to reclaim things for anchor view ups i also have this where I have names and you can see we are right now we are even on the corona low view up just gathering volume from whole bull market so as a first step as bull you need to claim this region you need to claim 40k 
it's not not lying in the sand and uh, some magical place it's just his real number 40k is gonna be important for the bulls you see how we are fighting here 24k break 63k top and then bear market all of them aligned and still more well you know bull market you will you will know bull market pretty simple because you you will go over all of them like you will be fighting them go over and then go start to retest them and bounce so this is gonna be also an easy place to add on, the, on them when they start to curve yeah they start to curve up and you will be trading above them big traders and big institutions whales well, they are watching that of course they are watching that this is not not, not sign of power where we are right now below every single view up of course you can look for value, uh, value buying here but uh just need to be very precise and uh yeah let's go further so you see how my folder is giving you beautiful view of the market so trend oops a trend line i have only few trend lines on my chart i don't need most of them you know trend lines they can uh, do fake outs and uh <clears throat> not so be pre not so precise so i want only stronger one i want only strongest ones this was uh, my buying here we did not break it and uh multiple confidence trade it's still holding losing that trend line will either cause you know big bleeding big move down or just fake out which will be more likely and uh, at this point but we will see and below us is still running the big uh, bull market trend line from you can see that from corona low to yeah it's right now at the i'm just showing you so you know let's say it's uh, 29,500 yes trend lines uh, you know sometimes uh, s sometimes even spot people holding they see trend lines break they, st they start selling so yeah they can definitely cause some nice reactions do not doubt about that channels we have multiple channels and right now even the small channel bitcoin is trying to stay contained within you need to break this channel uh, to at least like change some market structure yeah? this is very important channel for the bitcoin same like trend line yeah, losing it and big back that's gonna be very bullish <clears throat> and then i have all channels only if you return to them because they can still act very well pitchforks one hour time frame i'm just showing you geometrical support now it's not it's never gonna be so strong as uh, horizontal levels they're always stronger we have downtrending pitch fork at the moment, still uh, contained with it. There was like 0 0.5 trading all the time, golden zone touches as well. Midline holding as well. That was also like so my buying, uh, my buying few days ago. I mean, two days ago was also on pitch fork overlap. It's happening very, very rarely on market. It's like very clean, clean bounce from pitch fork traders as well. Geometry buyers come in stepped in here yeah <laughs> fifth fans this 0 0.5 is uh, really legendary look here one two three four five five ounces we'll see but really legendary it's coming from this is coming from bear market low at 2018 and uh, first big peak at 14k was the setting and i have higher time frame extensions here as well i think we've shown a few maybe i'll just you can see extensions work really nice this one was estimating our current uh, all-time high you see big golden zone here there were more targets on the way to the upside line and ITK, but we stopped that golden zone precisely. There's a, when you do all time high trading, extensions are your friends because you do not have as much to work with and they are super nice. This is also an important extension here. Indeed, this one is big. This one is coming from, from this high low high to this golden zone. Rejection one to one was hit. 
was like first big target and now 24,380, 1, 2, 3, 6, waiting, waiting there. This is from most immediate range, oops. Target's lower. Good, good. Now I want to show you uh, what will be my plan if we lose 30k. I want to I want to trade 30k area. I will show you that trade, but I will show you what we have until uh, what we have below 30k. So let me show you areas. So I show you I show you a lot of extensions as well, but we we have there. For long-term charting, always do, always do charting for uh, Bitstamp because Bitstamp is holding a lot of data from before, but like Bybit or Bybit do not have. Trend line over here, the trend line we don't need. Fip speed fan, this one is. Checking. Below, this uh, this is really big FIPS. Twenty six to twenty three thousand five hundred. And now you have three important anchor view ups. This one is measuring like almost whole history of Bitcoin. It's like super. <laughs> Hope we will not see that in f in the future, but uh, you know, just to be aware, it's rising. So now it's at like eight thousand five hundred. This is now this is the bear market top, uh, 2000, uh, 2018 bear market top. It's now 14,680, 14, Another huge value area. If you if you break twenty k, because there will be some uh, psychology about this. You know, when you break, uh, you do not you. We do not get like twenty k bounce. Most likely, or we will like we will front run it like 21, 22k, or we will just dive straight through it. So you need to be aware of this. This anchor view up here is at uh, 15,000 almost. It's gonna be, and also another strong anchor view up is coming here at 20,650. I like it's rising, so we better uh, we better bounce in front of 20k where everybody want to buy and leave them behind. They will be accelerating, then move to the upside with fear of missing out. Yes. That's what you what you need on market psychology. Also, you know I don't use uh, moving averages. Only I look sometimes on 200-day moving average and 200-week moving average. 200-week moving average is usually the bottom for most assets in the world, especially in stock market and traditional markets. So, and now it's at 21,746. I like it's rising. So. There will be easy trade from this point, I think. There will be easy easy bounce from this. So if you if you are really like you do not have any Bitcoin and you you want positions for, for long term for your spot and and so on, 24k area is area where I want to buy and then uh, this area. This area as well. Let me show you further what we have on the under 30k. So this is from uh, very long term. Bitstamp. Here I have folders below, below 30k. Let's go. I expect uh, if you lose 30k, I expect first bounce. Maybe even swing one, but the strong area is 24k. But we have a lot of levels here already. This is our first range we'll be entering. You see, Vag, Pok here, and Val. L like the high volume note here, big market structures, these uh, purple ones. Swing failure patterns that we have. Uh, CME gap is also starting here, so you, you will either bounce from the CME gap or you start feeling it. Be aware of just, you know, with CME gap here. But this is area. This is area I watch for for the first initial bounce. There will be some bounces. 
but the main, uh, main area for me is gonna be this. 24k, I think we will... Let me check here. I think we will get bounce and uh, starting from 2500 to 23,000. It's very highly likely we will get major swing from this area first before you know whatever happens, because we have three day order block here. Yes. CME gap is ending here, so you will after so long time you will close the inefficiency on the market daily naked block here. Big market structures, two of them. Big big high volume note untouched. A lot of extensions are also ending here, so a lot of shots from the 69k and, uh, and lower, they will have targets here. So look here, two targets and big uh, golden zone as well. There is naked pivot of 2021 here, semi-naked daily, naked daily, daily naked block, three day order block. So I mean this is area is packed with uh, just huge, hugely packed here. So that's what I will be watching under 30k. And of course I will be mapping uh, context of the market, yes, how it's how we are looking overall. Not just blindly buying, yeah. We will be watching uh, supporting tools we use. <clears throat> if we see some nice limits there and so on. And now let's discuss current uh, trading situation. So we, we checked the current situation already and now we can have a look on folders. So first area for the short area is going to be 41 to 44k. I like it, I really like it because you will feel some inefficiencies on the market when you start to go over here. So you will feel single prints most likely. Also single prints can give you swing flip patterns from this low if we do not feel them. We have low volume now, so we do not expect really to stop here. We will be expecting more uh, more stop at this region here. At our semi what's here? Semi naked daily here. Daily naked POC region. And also we have 35 million longs here trapped. Yes. So this region is gonna be my first region for, for shorts. Also we have like a this one is coming from anchor view up. This is coming from hole, probably the hole. Yeah, 52k. Yes, yes, yes. This is coming from 52k. So very nice anchor view up. I should be really watching this on one hour time frame. So yeah, anchor view up is already here. Oh, it's above, yeah, because I was watching that on a small time frame. So this is first area I'm looking to shots. I will be adding uh, some. Do we have magic box here? Yeah, I need to add it here. <clears throat> also, it's gonna be take profit area for the for the traders who are buying lower and for higher time frame traders. This five month range high volume note is gonna be take profit area. So we either get nice range here or we, or we get nice rejection at first. Yes, so that's my plan. Bearish trend line here, and at the skull barrier is gonna be this 60 million long here at the top, with session uh, New York naked poke high volume note here. This is purely order flow area mostly. And two, two anchor view ups will be probably in this area when we arrive there. Who knows when, but uh, it's just more likely. Also, POC of five months is here, just be aware. And further above us, we have semi naked daily here, and also order block is starting here. This is the midline, and this is the end of the order block. This is another great region, it's like bigger. Another great region I'll be watching uh, to short here. Market structures here together. Just beautiful. So this area is, is very nice for the upside. Let me turn on. Because I was adding some magic boxes. Ah, okay. So magic box was there. We need to move this. Another region I'm interesting for the short. We will do a medium swing fellow pattern here into the 50 million trap longs. Older high volume node, also golden zone here. And another strong anchor view up, just curving just here. And also I want to see us run major liquidity node here. Yeah, all of it. Also, this is the VWAG of five months. So you see there will be a lot of people taking profit here. So you will have additional force to just place range or reject here. Yes pretty easy and there will be a fight for this market structure uh, daily important one 
Another trade I want to trade is this after we run this medium liquidity node here. Another region I want to trade is over here. Another region I want to trade is over here. All these trap traders, they will most likely give us trades. Yeah, look at here, more anchor view ups here. Just beautiful. 0.86 and maybe we can go over last region this is region on our top still on the top we have some we have some interesting things look here naked liquidity we will need to add to, we have two ranges here I will need to add them soon yeah, so you know Bach and Vals And this is uh, this is still waiting for us. One day we will get the huge magic box for big short here. Major high volume note, yes. With a lot of good levels. And for the downside, this is purely swing failure pattern region. So we are still expecting if we continue move to the down, we will take all this liquidity from here and we will dive into this smaller high volume node here and also we have market structure here speed fan line medium liquidity will be run and you know for this trade i really want to see fast fast reaction so i want to see liquidity grab reclaim and bounce up if we do not get that if we dive straight through this region we already have planned for this one and it's gonna be this and it is it is possible because you really want to stop here because if you do not stop here on this um, on this high volume node here you have low volume node here from recent liquidity push so recent is this recent people and you also have recent uh, i mean from medium time frame you have low liquidity so double like from multiple time frames low liquidity it it's uh, yeah it can be trouble and we can really dive over this very very fast so, but when, when it happens, we'll be ready because we have order blocks here. We have medium liquidity to run, which we can. Daily naked pog is going to wait inside market structure and big, big daily naked pog volume. It's marked strong. I did like big analysis on this. So, another huge region for, for easy scalp day trade, even swing from this place. Yes. So be aware. This is going to be another trade area I want to do. And further away to the downside, you will be, you will be playing this swing fellow pattern here as well medium swing fellow pattern into big high volume note this one is this is older volume but it's still uh, strong yes major liquidity to run under this uh, medium swing fellow pattern and uh, you know this is major pitchfork here into the daily naked pog volume ideally here at this place because if not you will go even further you will go under this is is great we will like uh, bottom here and do not take this major swing fellow pattern so we will do some damage to the charts but not like crazy damage with this taking out this low so I'll be watching that. If we go further down, again we are prepared. This is the area where is the kingdom of order blocks. One bingo order block midline, the small front run. This is this is also excellent area. Especially look at this naked weekly 31,073. I really want Bitcoin to be like in the if we do not want to lose 30k we better bounce from this area and I think swing traders will be aiming to bounce from this region to keep us at least a uh, few weeks low and even months in the range longer why not why not range 30 to 50k or 30 to 40k why not this is gonna be great area this is area where I want to really swing and if I see good reactions then uh, why not order blocks will give you you know beautiful uh, stop loss placement for this we have also the vival of 2021 here i really like this area and what we have a 30k you see it's getting uh, thinner and thinner not much at 30k it's probably gonna be big panic in the wall already when we hit uh make it when we hit the 30k so just be be careful at this area major swing fella pattern here this will yeah we will be watching this this area so it's a pretty risky area. You will need to do swing value patterns here to bounce, or even from this line. It's one week or the block end. So I showed the areas I want to trade. In a, I covered a lo lot of, of these areas, and maybe we can discuss just a bit uh, supporting tools we use. 
you know we we, we use uh, trading light every single day i just want to point out you know ftx they are master of manipulation they usually just uh, no no real walls just scary walls and psychological walls but uh, a few days ago 27 or we had this uh, on ftx it was very helpful you know <clears throat> for supporting market heavily on ftx look at these very thick walls and even they filled some so they were real someone wants wanted really to fill some positions here and from that moment again some uh, cheeky games they just play games most of the time again there was some supporting bounces uh, yesterday it was pretty helpful but most of the time they just play games but if, you, if they don't play games and you find out this is really nice nice to find out so very nice also you know we <clears throat> we are bottoming out at 37 400 we've got uh, entry in the group in this place yes you got secondary entry because you took uh, ink value pattern I, you took liquidity from these people and we this was our major i think most of the people in the group entered at this place here and you can see why we like uh, the big spot wall started to appear which for swing traders and day traders uh, they they can uh, easily place stop loss behind and such a big wall has psychological effect on the market you can see if you do not directly bounce few thousand dollars from it you start to at least form range so right now we are forming range and it's pretty well defined from with the, with this wall this is also very clever wall because if um, perpetual markets with leverage start to hit uh, liquidations these walls will get easy these walls will get filled easily because those lows there we are planning to run those lows sooner or later yes those three lows so much liquidity so many stop losses below yeah this is just not normal and um, you know this will cascade quickly so th that wall is pretty clever and it's gonna be filled uh, pretty easily if they want also bitfinex wells you need to watch them because their uh, their orders are pretty clever and uh, usually real they are not uh, manipulators like ftx for example yeah they do not pull out as we as we approach it you can back test in history they, they usually right uh, when they actually feel big wall it's gonna decision point is will be when we feel the wall what's gonna happen after <clears throat> Being a binance also heavily spotting on uh, a bidding on spot and we of course use binance futures which is uh, already giving us uh, this range to trade very muted to the both sides i also have a uh, few trdr notes three rdr is uh, you know in our group that we have like fight between uh trading light and trdr but trdr is winning at the moment uh, He's actually so strong, you know, the way we use the templates, uh, it's over 80% win rate, 85% plus win rate with our, if you get signal from TRDR, so he's just, just super strong. You see that I, I did these memes for the group and uh, <laughs> when we see blue bands, we just buy and when we see yellow bands, we take profit and look for short, so just easy, yeah, you see, you see, here, 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 no bands, just range, you know. They are giving you, they, they are already telling you, you need to look for, you need to look for trade, yeah, it's like more high probable. Again, bottoming, bought, sold, bought, sold. We are again at 38,500, <laughs> it's just crazy, you know. <clears throat> you can learn this in our group, we will share the template with you. You know, there are people, they say, oh, order books are not important, order books are super important in trading, it doesn't matter if wall is real or not. Okay, it what matters is how big psychology impact it has on market, especially in this type of market, where where uh, yes, slow market conditions and uh, no clear direction yet. Yeah, we use multiple templates. You see that you see that pressure on uh, pressure we are forming on the top. Yeah, pressure, pressure, pressure. You just must take profit and look for shorts, especially at, when the pressure bands show up and at the top, and when you have um, bands at the bottom. Especially yellow ones, it's most likely you will get nice moves. And for TRDR, you use uh, liquidations as well and so on. You watch OBD, it's already very good, 130 million, but we know from where it is coming from, for Bitfinex at the moment. Yeah, you see, heavy curving. You watch that ratio between longs and shorts. So TRDR is super useful and of course we, we use exocharts every single day to make life easier with our trading.
This template is our scalping, scalping template is very useful. Just crazy job today. Shorts got trapped, shorts got trapped, he closed here and so on. Yes, so I think that's it for me. I wanted to cover this, this uh, general market analysis and uh, more videos will be coming now. So I wish everyone a good trading week. Uh, be prepared for tomorrow is going to be crazy. And if you are new watching this video, if you join us, you will learn how to trade really properly. And also maybe at the end of the video to show you, we have uh, order block indicator, which is showing order blocks on uh, multiple time frames. Order blocks are institutional tools, so you can uh, have really big edge on the market with order blocks. You don't need to search them, uh, you know, you can see most of them uh, provided the reaction, so they can be strong basis for your, for most of your trades. So if you want to learn all the blocks and you want to use our uh, indicator also, join, uh, join our group and uh, we will sort you out. So I wish everyone good trading and uh, see, you in the, see you in the group guys. Bye bye.